this question is very very simple and uh, you can see they are giving an octal number and they are asking that uh, what is the decimal value of this octal number as well as what is uh, the hexadecimal value of this octal number so let us take this question again so here they are giving that the number is 326.4 which is given in base 8 so if you want to convert this number to decimal then this can be uh, written like this 6 into 8 raised to power 0 plus 2 into 8 raised to power 1 plus 3 into 8 raised to power 2 plus 4 into 8 raised to power minus 1 which can be written like this 6 3 into 64 plus 2 into 8 that is 16 plus 6 into 1 that is 6 plus 4 divided by 8 that is 1 by 2 or you can say 0 0.5 5 so what is 3 into 64 if you uh, multiply 64 into 3 so that can be 2 1 uh, 19 that is 192 plus 16 plus 6 that is 22 plus 0 0.5 that is 22.5 so you have to add 22.5 on this so that will become uh, 4 1 214.5 so this is 214.5 in base 10 so this is the decimal value of this so from this you can eliminate that the option number one is not true and option number two is not true so you can see option number three and option number four we have these two options now we have to convert this number this number to the hexadecimal base now there are shortcuts which are present see the shortcut is for if you want to convert a base 2 number to base 4 number there is a shortcut if you want to convert base 2 number to base 8 number there is a shortcut if you want to convert base 2 number to base 16 there is a shortcut even for base 32 there is a shortcut because uh, if this base is in power like this 2 uh, square here 2 cube 2 raised to power 4 2 raised to power 5 in the same way if you want to convert base 4 to base 16 that is easy to base 64 that is easy and so on in the same way if you want to convert base 8 to base 16 that is also easy how do you actually convert a base 8 to a base 16 number is that base sorry base 8 to base 16 number is not actually this is not the case so uh, base 8 to base uh, 64 is very very easy in the same way if you have a base 8 number then you can easily convert that base 8 number to a base 2 number and you can easily convert a base 2 number to a base 8 number how because you have to write every every digit uh, in pairs of 3 like if you have the number 326.4 okay 326.4 now this portion this portion may create some issues for us right so this is actually easy but uh, just just for for the sake of explanation um, what you can do is you can write every number with a combination of three bits to make it a base two number like if you have six so six can be written like this we have one one zero if you have two two can be written like this which is zero one zero if you have three three can be written like this zero one one right in the same way after point you have to write this 4 in a base 3 number ok so in a base 2 number so this can be written like this 0 1 0 0 ok now you have to convert this number to a base 16 number that means you have to make a pair of 4 digits each 4 digits each so this pair is representing a number which is 6 this pair is representing a number which is 13 and 13 in hexadecimal means it is D right so you can clearly see that if we have 13 right if we have 9 9 can of uh, 9 that can be written as 9 if you have 10 10 can be written as A 11 can be written as B 12 can be written as C 13 can be written as D in hexadecimal and 14 can be written as E 15 can be written as F so this number will be written as d so it is d6 point and this is representing a number which is 8 so it is to uh, you can clearly see this is representing a number which is 8 so it is d6.8 therefore here in this case the option is answer is option number 3 which is a correct answer okay 
so now let us move on to the next question that is a question number 7